because Amelia Suzuki haven't made as much of a splash as their mates of strokes, but that could all be about to change. We give every single ounce of our being up on stage. Try to devastate everyone's face. It's like a riot at the circus right. in the clown tent. Right. And you wake up and there's clown makeup where it shouldn't be on your body and then it's yeah. just a mess. What I do is use the power of words and sound through the medium of music to bring about awareness. It would have brought them a chance of a state of mind, but it would have been seen for some of the waste of time. These festivals always give me an opportunity to see the way that other bands perform, and they truly perform, and they look out, they say move, and the people move. And Especially this year with the weather. Oh, it's already turned out fantastic. Let's, let's not jinx it, it's just going to stay this way. For the smiles, love, and unity. I love techno music, and I think Sonar is like one of the most authentic festivals all over the world. Sonar by day takes place in the center of contemporary culture, but Sonar by night goes off in a huge hall out in an industrial estate at the city limits. You come to a people show now, you see grime kids, you see hip hop kids, you see punk kids, you see indie kids, and I think that's how it should be, man. The thing is, it's the 50th carnival this year, and to my mind, it's like a bit of a cultural barometer for the state of multicultural, certainly London, and I think the wider UK, you know. So it was something that I was passionate about, so I got my punk rock ethos in gear and uh, just made it. I didn't know that Steve found a bottle of blue nut and gone off in another room, gone. <laughs> And so, ten minutes later, we're on the TV show, start talking, and then the blue nun kicks in. <laughs> so my cousin Sarah, who must have been about ten, was playing in the street at the time. She got all her mates, she was playing in the street, and they're sitting in front of the telly, and then all that happened, you know, so I was the black sheep with the brown. <laughs> Luke's the main man. Oh, Luke, it's Mark, where are you, over? Just try and imagine what sort of state people are in. Uh, what particular time of the day, try and consider what's going to go down well at that time. And time cannot stand still and never will. You can't do that, and you wouldn't want to. Uh, and there's a sign saying, fuck the car, on the front of my car. It's an asshole. And I never thought that anybody would take a part, you know, when I actually made this piece. I thought, well, it's going to just be there. But, you know, John took a bite out. And I, said, I know, I thought, how dare she? I thought. I was there, let's put it that way. 